Good morning, Internet. Welcome back to the Merry Moon Base. Uh, let's see where... Oh, right. I was playing around with this. And I think I've got this uh, well sorted out finally. So here's what I changed. One, I turned these off. These weren't really doing anything. In other people's videos, I've seen them where they want to keep this in a vacuum. But what I found is if you just give it some cooling, it's perfectly fine. It doesn't overheat as long as the source of the heat, which is this water drop, falls away from it. So that water drop falls down here. That's, not that that's helpful, that's the source of the heat. So all I did was split this pipe. So half the cooling goes up here, half goes down here. I had the temperature sensor and added a pressure sensor. So if the pressure gets too low, it then turns on and pumps water into here. When the pressure gets too high, the extra water comes out. And you can see we're getting a little warm spot. I dug up everything, basically everything that wasn't uranium over here. So that way the bees will hopefully eat it. Uh, enriched uranium. I've got all of this full of it. How are you doing on fuel? You've got a whole bunch. So even though I have this set to 25, a whole lot more comes through. But that's fine. We now have a whole bunch of nuclear waste. I turned this around again because the nuclear spot here was so good that even though it's in a liquid for cooling, it's still getting plenty of radiation. It then shoots over here, bounces. I just got to make sure my dupes aren't in the way. I am getting damage to this, and I don't understand why. The nuclear waste isn't anywhere near cold enough to break the pipes, and I'm not getting broken pipes. I'm getting damage to the launcher. So I'm not sure what's causing that. I know, lots of information. The other thing I don't think I've seen before is if you have these diagonally, you get a diagonal shot of radiation. You can see how these are much higher. Well, it turns out you can shoot rad bolts through that. So this is collecting rad bolts. Here, let's just set you to 50 so you can see it. And they can shoot through diagonally. Who knew? So that's how I'm activating the diamond press. Same thing over here where nuclear waste is coming out. I'm like, I, I don't know. These say they emit nuclear waste. I don't, yeah, not sure. Oxygen tank is full. Hydrogen tank is almost full. You don't have a huge amount in there yet. It's only 10,000 kilograms, so I got to send over some more. But while I was focusing on all the nuclear bits, I've like completely forgot that I have rockets. This rocket's been ready to go for a long time. So, you know, I made it really nice in there. How big is the telescope? Oh no, the telescope needs to be near the window. All right. Well, I was going to send Gossman out to go mine more stuff, but I kind of wanted him to have a telescope. But let's go get more fullerene. Okay. You, change crew, Gossman. And we'll just have you mine for a bit. What is the range on this? It's got to be quite a bit. Yeah, 18. Uh, you, we can deconstruct. I don't think I need that anymore. And you enable... Oh, I need to hook that back up. Are you going to enable that? Um... Okay. That was weird. And you are priority seven, and I've got a full load of dirt. 
How are you getting anything in that? Oh, apparently if you don't select it, it then does anything. Eh, whatever. That will be fine. Where's my rocket? Have you not... Why did you not take off? Um... Why is my rocket not taking off? Um... Cargo transfer we don't care about. You have a crew. You have a destination. What the hell? Um, I don't get any warnings. What? And you? Okay, seriously, what the hell? You're the only one in here. And you made... All right, I think I need to reload. Like, they went up here and they built all this. I don't know what's going on. Okay, a reload and a rebuild later. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if there was an update or something that changed, but I had to put in a full ladder for them to get up there. Even though they hopped up before and now all of a sudden they can't. But that's why it wasn't taking off, is he couldn't get to this for no reason. But looks like ladder and a door, now they can get there. And now he's taken off. That was weird. I don't know what... Where's my rocket? Oh, you're up there. I'm looking at the wrong planet. Okay. <laughs> Freaking out over nothing. Alright, now we got all that reloaded. Weird. Alright, the bees are doing bee things. Oh. Uh, yep, we're getting pressure damage over here, which is annoying. So a whole bunch of carbon dioxide just got released. Alright, we'll go around and fix that. Still got plenty of liquid. All right, on the rocket front, over here we've been sucking up liquid. And this rocket has a range of six with a small tank. So I took out the big tank, put in some solar panels, and I redid the interior of this one. It looks like we are loaded down with everything we need. Let's take out the sand and Load up some more obsidian. And then I'm, this one should have enough range with six to get to here again. And then I can start building a base. Because my eventual goal is to have the rocket launchers, or the interplanetary launchers, with a source of radiation to shoot stuff back and forth to where I want it. And why are you... I guess those are the tanks emptying? Wait, am I dupes emptying nuclear waste anywhere? That's all ethanol. Yeah, you aren't doing anything else. Eventually, I swear, I'm going to get down here to these volcanoes to deal with this brine. I've just been focused on other things. Weird. So much stuff. Okay. That's flying. That's actually plenty of obsidian because we've got more on the other planet. I just want to have extra. Crew. Turner, Trivaldo. You're going to go there. Oh, this we need to enable.
Yeah, see, these guys can do the ladder hop up thing. But we got some metal ore, some obsidian, dirt, Atmo suits, plenty of food. So yeah, now we can start doing space stuff. And I don't have this automated to refuel. But I don't think it really matters. Like, I could probably just leave it on. I don't really have anything to do with it. Every once in a while, you know, you come. Shoot a few rad bolts. And let that launch. <laughs> okay, and you got hit in the freaking head. This is why I have a hospital over here. And a whole lot of rad bolts. Rad pills. There's uh, 800 rad pills there. And you are moderately wounded. Oh, your rad dose is low. Who made. How did you make a mess? Oh. I could not see the disabled symbol there. Okay, that's my fault. <laughs> you're making the bathroom noise while you're in the bathroom. I guess that is a way of getting water onto another planet, is have them make a mess. I don't know where they drink the water to pee, but whatever. It's a way of doing it. Injuries minor. Your ride dust? Yeah, even though you got hit with the ride bolt. Whatever. I just... I really wish I knew what was damaging this. Like, it looks like nuclear waste is spilling out. But it's all insulated pipes and it's all warm. Like, it, it shouldn't be. And all of that is warm. See? And it just got damaged again. Alright, well let's turn off this pump. Alright, maybe I gotta change my uh, shooting angle, because, yeah, if they're gonna keep trying to come in here and fix stuff, they're gonna get shot in the head. Yeah, so you got hurt, but you didn't get hit with radiation. Okay, and you've now shot all the nuclear waste out. Seems like the bees are over here delivering uranium, so that all seems to be working. Yeah, these I think start at 99. Yeah, 95, 99. And you see some of these are down to the 40s. And you still have 40 kilograms of uranium. And everything in here is stable temperature and pressure-wise. Cool deal. Yeah, I don't think I need ice. Love to print that out on the magma planet, but I'm not there yet. Oh, my pressure damage just released a whole bunch more carbon dioxide. Yeah, it happens. Should be okay. This pump will take care of it. Yeah, these aren't even... I don't even have two of those full yet. And then we're taking all the polluted dirt. 
warm bits getting a little bit warmer. Seriously, like, there's nothing over there. Where is this stuff coming out of? Like, is it coming out of the containers now? Even though it says admitting zero. There's nothing in the pipes. Oh, the same thing's happening up here. Well, screwed if that's the case. We're gonna do stuff like this. Like, how are you still getting damaged? Like, there's nothing in this. There's no notification that it's getting damaged, it just all of a sudden is damaged. Nuclear waste tonight. Whatever comes out of there, just get rid of it. Somebody should be doing this. No, you definitely do not need to disinfect that. Disable disinfect. You just have to constantly mop it? Man, that's annoying. I just noticed I've been rotating the hydrogen for so long that the one kilos are already coming back at negative 251. So we're gonna crank it up to 10 and see if I break all the pipes. But I should have two or three degrees worth of freedom, and at 10 kilos, I'm not anywhere near it. Who's trapped? How are you possibly trapped? That's just really annoying. I know, I'm sounding like I'm very annoyed today. Oh, we're here. Where the heck are we? There we are. Alright, set so you to all. Now, the solar panels should be providing enough power. Yeah, potential load 400. Let's just double check the battery. Oh yeah, we're good. Okay, so now that we're back here on the magma planet, I need to get this oxygen out of here because it's hot. That's a vacuum. Yeah, so let's dig out everything in here. Let's just core this out. I just want the most room possible. tiles worth above just in case. But we'll see what happens. Worst case scenario is I dump a bunch of magma down here, which is kind of what I want to do anyway. Okay, 
we're also going to move the solar panels up to the top. That way I can make an actual proper base. One thing I learned in a previous playthrough is it says you can put them up here, but if you do, you don't get any power out of them. So I don't know. Those are kind of a waste down there, but that's fine. And you've got a long time before you get anywhere. Did you mine? Oh, you're ca you're counting the gas. I was trying to figure out why it was twelve point two. Oh no, not that regular tiles. I don't think they can rummage unless they've got something to stand on. Oh, because you're delivering obsidian. Don't do that. Okay, that's a problem. We need to get the hot obsidian out of the rocket immediately. That's not bad. That can potentially overheat everything inside. Well, you went in there. Is anybody grabbing this sweep command at a nine? Nope, of course not. You're taking a break. Alright, good. Now we're getting it out of there. It got a little toasty. Luckily, a lot of the obsidian I had in there wasn't warm. Awesome. Okay, now we can work on building a base. Well, this base is starting to come along, and I need a ladder over here. So they can do that. And I figured I might as well toss the telescope in here and explore this area. Really? There's no way I have insufficient oxygen. Nope, just all my pipes are full. Oh, this base doesn't even have oxygen production. It's still running off of the pipe coming from the other planet. But there's only one dupe over here right now. Yeah, and you were all nice and full. I think because everything over here got overpressurized from the carbon dioxide, it's just complaining. But I figured that telescope can handle this last bit, and good god, that's slow. How fast is Turner? And science. 21. You have 1240% research speed. You should be able to knock that out pretty quick. Yep, yeah, that did not take long. Area is complete. I mean, I haven't seen that tile, but I also don't have any question marks around there. So, let's get rid of that. And went and rummaged in here. We got a snazzy suit and a cool sweater. Or cool vest, which I put on Travaldo because, you know, it's kind of hot down here. Oh, that's cool. It does a different color for Demolish. Prioritize this. I'm trying for how I can get... I'm probably going to have to go to the water planet. Ah, uh, there's just a lot to do. Well, I'm thinking I need to go... Holy! One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's not that bad. So with, with my rockets with ranges of 18, I can get to the water planet and back. But go to the water planet, set up the launcher system to launch water all the way over to here. The hell's overloading? How? How are you overloading? You only have two generators on you. You can only produce 1600 watts. 
I keep getting this overloading thing, and like, they're... I wonder if it's because I have the pump on here. Because I have power loads? Yeah, it's just annoying. And yeah, you've got plenty of room. Well, I think I'm going to call that good. We need to get more radiation over here. It's coming up nicely, but we're only at like 40 something. And I really wish I knew what the heck was damaging these. Let's do another couple of... Sh Another couple of shots. So let's turn this pump on. Actually, it's probably time to refuel this. Yeah, you're down to grams. So I want to shoot a little bit less because I want them to kind of dissipate before they hit here again. So now you're cleaning, which means you're storing up nuclear waste. not being damaged. Let's turn that off. We'll get all the liquid out of there. Okay, so right now launch cost is 15. You have 20, so let's shoot one more. No, you have 80, launch cost is 20. That seems backwards. And what if we save to 50? Okay, save to 60. Yeah, see, you just got damaged. What damage do you? I would assume it's the nuclear waste coming out, but it can't be. Unless nuclear waste just comes out of pipes all by itself, which would be really annoying. Yeah, so that is nuclear waste coming out all by itself. Alright, well, something new. Nuclear waste apparently can just come out of pipes all on its own. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I'm just going to keep working on this base for a while. Dig up whatever these guys can till I'm out of resources. And my hydrogen rocket's uh, going to come mine, which is great. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Hopefully I don't uh, burn all my dupes to death. <laughs>